I think that this work can improve neighborhoods by engaging in a long-term process and not an event, by really looking at the factors that really inform and educate and empower community residents to be more actively involved in the decision-making process, both at the political level and at the individual level. I think that the work really requires people to shift and pivot, but inside Pittsburgh, it's really a tale of two cities. It's about haves and have-nots, and I work in a vulnerable community in the city of Pittsburgh with in the 1940s, there were 40,000 people in our community. Today, there's 6,442 people. So it's been decimated and it's, it's on the comeback. So if we can figure out how to rebuild that community in a green and sustainable way, make it a pillar of transformation in the city of Pittsburgh, and also make it inviting for other stakeholders to come live, work, and play there, then we would be hitting a home run with regards to how we're linking up vulnerable communities with the trajectory of Pittsburgh as a global destination.